Hi everyone, this is Odd Samurai, and today I'm gonna be reacting to One Piece chapter 1072 and 1073. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so what I, <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna repeat myself, but just just so we're clear, I do know that uh, this two scenes of vampire. So that's pretty much the biggest spoiler I have. And we're gonna see the Goro say, I'm pretty sure, in these two chapters. And I know that 1073 is already out, but uh, that's gonna be too big of a video, so I'll just wait and I'll do uh, 73 and 74 next week, shall we? Uh, so yeah, uh, last chapter, 1071, it uh, ended with something pretty big, which was um, Kid arriving at... Uh, Elbaf. We didn't see how the island looks, of course, because we're gonna reserve reserve it for when the straw has to get there, but that's still pretty exciting. And we got Garp after quite a long while since Reverie, with uh, the big bombshell of, hey, he's gonna try and get, uh, he's gonna rescue Kobe from Blackbeard. So I saw some people saying that um, this might lead to uh, Garp dying? Which, I mean, maybe? Are you, you really can't know with Oda when he's gonna actually kill someone or not. I don't, I definitely don't want it. Um, but it would, uh, it would definitely make me very emotional and it would be, you know, it would be quite a gutsy move to just kill off another member of Luffy's family. And not counting like the three different kind of fake outs that we've had with Sabo. <laughs> oh, I think we we're gonna see Sabo. Maybe. I, I think so. I could be wrong though. Uh, but yeah. I don't think we're gonna re revisit those two characters until we get out of Egghead properly. Uh, which is seeming to be pretty difficult at the moment unless you know something surprising happens let's start uh, the title is the weight of a memory and we see the for the um, the cover page you know the cover story it says an emotionless excursion mass produced weapons or of slaughter interesting and we see uh, Caesar I think I think the the one in the middle is um uh, Queen and then the one on the right is um, freaking judge and they have like little tubes or they're not tubes I, I forget like glasses or flasks with uh, scientist -y stuff and Caesar is uh, holding on to a devil fruit though I'm not sure which one it's supposed to be but yeah interesting stuff we went from just German 66 to delving, delving onto mats I, I'm not sure what the mass boost weapons are if like we've known about this specific one from the past or is this just something that Queen talked about it in Wano and I'm just forgetting could be even if the world doesn't agree I know that she's a living breathing person a true and undeniable human it was a success I am certain of it and this is one great step toward the creation of world peace who is this who is this talking or narrating dr vegapunk director of matt's laboratory for peace mm. so that was something that he said about who wow it hurts i think i broke a bone <laughs> okay bunny we don't have time for this bunny oh no you're truly hurt we need the medical team help bunny's hurt oh you know what i think she was faking it <laughs> Just so she could get Vegapunk close to her. Oh, yep, yeah, she's sitting up. And there it is. 
well distorted future well that's cool so she can also make it so that she or or she can turn in other people into their alternate futures so that's why we saw luffy looking like that uh that that was his bad future that's good good to know so she's trying to attack him but he dodges stop this bunny killing me won't age skewer damn <laughs> okay she got him whoa it, it almost looks like it went through him gaha and what a star's heart i don't know came out of him oh oh but that that's her devil fruit working she turned him into a kid uh, uh. Well, curse you, is this shining material supposed to be my age? You've turned me into a powerless child. Give back give back the sparkling gems of my experience. Don't worry. My powers do not work on living things indefinitely. That's that's a new piece of information. I realize that that could be the case if she just didn't do anything to revert them back. You said there's a good reason. Let's hear it. Why did you kill my father? I also want to know. What is the reason that he cannot uh, turn him back? But, but Bunny, if I tell you, then you'll... You'll what? Nobody wants to kill you. Red Port. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah. Kuma went to the Red Port. Kuma's started climbing up the red line. There's no way he can get to the top. Bro, he's pulling a... A Fisher Tiger. If I tell you why, Bonnie, it will only hurt you. Oh, I see. So he's trying to protect her. What? And that is why I made a promise to Kuma. That I would never tell you the reason why. Mm, okay, so it's because... Kuma didn't want her to know. Okay, but can you tell us though? <laughs> I, I want to know. You had a good reason for killing my father, but you can't tell me why? Do you think I'm some kind of idiot? No, not at all. Please let me down. The decision to take away his free will came from none other than Kuma himself. Wait, really? I, I thought it was like something the government had made him do. Am I wrong of having assumed that? Oh my god, when was the first time that we heard that? Was it from uh, Doflamingo and Marineford? I could have sworn that like, he basically had no choice but to accept that, that procedure. Uh, okay. You're a liar. My father would never choose to die and leave me behind. You killed him. It was hard for me too. I don't even want to remember it. Kuma's a great man. I am proud of my good friend. I love him with all my heart. And that is why I cannot tell you. Please, Bonnie, you must understand. Say it. I can't accept a useless answer like that on faith. Ah, this is abuse. Mm. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Interesting reaction from Bonnie in that panel. No? Huh? Ha! Huh. Wait, Bonnie, that's not what you think. It's nothing. I, I, it certainly doesn't have anything to do with Kuma. What? What is beeping? Oh, there's a paw on the door. He like hell, it doesn't. Oh, she's pulling a lever, lever down. It, it. Oil shock. Bonnie! Whoa, that looks like a, like the big ball of stress that Kuma took out of Luffy. What? Interesting. And she's just going like... <gasps> I, interesting. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how, how else to describe it. I mean... I really like this shading on her face, though. 
Let's see what's in there. Memories. That's right. A scholar in the West Blue once said that people lose 21 grams of weight after they die. In other words, that is the weight of the human soul. It's so fascinating. The soul really exists. We can observe it. What? Bro, what is going on? So, wait, so the human soul is something tangible? Like a physical object? Like you, you can actually take it out of a person? Is that what Vegapunk is saying? Um, your powers take pain, supposedly invisible, and give it form so that it can be foisted off onto others. Uh huh. It's like sending the peripheral nervous system signals via radio instead. So what about the mind and heart then? Mental images, memories... <gasps> Wait, I think I see where this is going. You're telling me that in that big... Um, Paul thingy that is in this little lab that, that they have Kuma soul in there? Is that what you're telling me? So you're telling me that if we put it back into his body, he can return, maybe? Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, though. So, okay. Uh, these things are signals emitted by neurons. How heavy are they? How big? You're saying you want me to produce memories and show you? You want me to embarrass myself? Please, you must. It's a chance for a great scientific lip. It'll, I'll be the only one who looks, I swear. No. Pretty please? Wait, are you kidding me? The reason he doesn't want to show Bonnie is because of embarrassment? I'm... Don't you dare touch it, Bonnie. That is pain. You should know Kuma's powers. Enough pain to be lethal. No. Shoot Kuma off the wall. Don't let him reach Marijua. Got him. I know my father's powers very well. Hold him down. No, finish him off first. He's still alive. All civilians, leave the area at once. This is my father's memory, isn't it? Whoa. Yeah, basically. If if you consider consider that basically someone's personality is their rare collection of memories and experiences, you could still call that their soul. Though it is interesting that Vegapunk just referred to it as his pain. Level face, Eckhead. Oh no, we're coming back from this. This is so good though. I've been wanting answers for Kuma for... I mean, everyone in the One Piece fandom has been wanting answers <laughs> about Kuma for a long while. But yeah. Th this is what I wanted from Eckhead the most. Because we literally got Bonnie at the beginning of it. So it was this and it was um, the nature of Devil Fruits. Oh, we're so close. What? Are you kidding me? Rob Luchi climbed up here? I'm sorry. It seems we had a systems malfunction. Good thing Sora and Brooke are down there. They should be able to hold their own. It's two against three. It depends on how they fight. No, look closer. The odds are worse than that. What? Oh, yeah, the Thorfins. The Seraphim have reached us too. It's two against seven, and the enemy is all elite units. Damn it. They must have summoned them while the variant was in the fridge. No, CP0 would not have made the call to bring them here. <clears throat> the Seraphim are equipped with just enough personality to make decisions for themselves according to circumstances of battle. Wow, that's quite advanced. So they sense they had a brief window when the variant was down. I didn't give them the order to come. We can't send them back down now that the dome's closed already. No. 
We can't send them back now. The dome's closed already. CP0 has made a great miscalculation then. Here on the face, we are higher on the authority hierarchy. The Seraphim will be to our benefit instead. Oh, okay, so they're... They're gonna listen to the satellites. Only for orders get through. Until then, they're at maximum level threat. I gotta get down there. I just hope the two outside can hold things down. Yay, I'll go with you. Hee hee hee. Edison, Lilith, do as you're doing. Shut up, I don't take orders from you. Oh, Lilith. So sad. Oh, wait, I, I lost the page I was on. Jeez, it took me back. Uh, okay, there it is. So sad, must have died in the line of duty just before we reach the One Piece. Can he not? Can he not try to raise that death flag? You're going to. This is strong for the whole crew. The Sa the Sanji theme is absolutely loyal to all of Nami San's orders. Do we really have to save him though? Don't second guess it, Trill of Fame. This is serious. Thank you, Frankie. What? Why does he look like that? He <laughs> right. Broke his thing. Uh, Kaku in using his devil fruit. He's supposed to be a giraffe, but he didn't look quite like that before. Got him down though, and he'll be dead like anyone else. Assuming you can cut me, Roronoa. Handle the ship, Brooke. You got it. This is honestly really cool. Just saying, Brooke, uh, just in this vicinity as someone from, uh, the. And just loving Water 7 arc. Oh. Nose pistol? I guess he's getting a little better using his devil fruit. It's been two years after all. Though he kind of looks like he's awakened it. From the, like, you know, the, the little black cloudy thing in, like, spirals. Kilimanjaro? Really? That's one of his moves. I just got done fighting plenty of wriggling things back in Wano. <laughs> She's talking about a king? It's getting tired. Destroy the lab before Begapon comes out. Seraphim. Oh no, they're going to destroy the lab. No! <laughs> the scurdy duel. I wonder where- oh yeah, 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 Chopper is not with them, that's why it's just the two of them. As talk and as are about to attack, and it seems like, yeah, they're destroying it. Usopp and Nami get out of their fun. Now that's quite a show, go ahead and finish our mission for us. The chomp? Huh? Did you- mm? And then Hattori goes, Koko? Kaku! What? What are you doing? <gasps> Stussy? What did I do? I only put him to sleep. And now Luchi will ask you to do the same? Wait, she's betraying CP0? What? Okay. <laughs> Oh, I knew, I, I, I thought I wasn't going to be surprised, but <laughs> there's definitely two aspects of this reveal for sure. Clone of Miss Buckingham Stussy rocks pirates? Oh, never mind, three aspects to this reveal. What? She was part of the rocks pirates? Wait, how old is Stussy? Uh, so I guess the vampire thing is not just... Uh... Okay, 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 look. Matt's clone experiment? Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh. Too many reveals, reveals in just one page. S slow down. Matt's clone experiment. Successful subject number one is to see. Huh? Bro, I have so many questions. 
。OK OK。So so she was from Rock's Pirate. So that means she was in the same crew as Big Mom and Kaido. Right? But then you just you would think that Big Mom like would mention it or like make it an allusion to it when we have Susie being interested in Whole Cake Island, right? Considering how Buddy Buddy uh freaking Big Mom was with Kaido and they were both crewmates. Um so that that's the one thing I'm not sure about. Um, one, how old is Susie? Is, is she like, I don't know, 300 years old? I can see it. Uh, okay, but no, that actually, now that I think about it, that, that couldn't be it. She cannot be that old because at, at the very least, she's in her 60s because she was created. Oh, no, 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 wait. She was created as an experiment by Mads. But how many years ago was Mads? Wait, I'm, I, I usually don't do this. But let me do a quick Google search. Mads. One piece. Uh, that was active. When? When, 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 when? Uh, was active at least over 24 years ago. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, so... At least. Okay, but it could have been after. I know, no, I'm sorry, it could have been more years than that, basically. So she was created by them. But that... But, okay, so... Okay, <laughs> I'm getting... Maybe I'm just overthinking this. It says... Matt's clone experiment, successful subject number one, Stussy. So, she was a subject of experimentation in Matt's. That doesn't mean she was created there. So, that's something I wasn't, like, cluing into. Yes, okay. So, she could be in her 60s, like, how Big Mom was or is. I, we don't know her situation right now. Um, and then she was experimented on. And that's how she got the vampire powers, which we don't really... Uh, it, it wasn't confirmed that she had like a devil fruit power or something. Like vampire fruit or whatever. Uh, but it's probably because of the experimentation that she has this power. Okay, so for one... She wasn't created by Mads. She was just experimented. Okay, okay. Experimented on them. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, and I just... Th that, that also completely went over my head. Clone of Miss Buckingham. So this is... This is not the real Stussy. Whatever that means. This is a clone of someone else. Okay, I don't know exactly what the implications are there. God, this is making me really think. And just when I thought this chapter was fully packed with the Kuma stuff. So, wait, so we've never met the real Stussy? Buckingham Stussy. Okay, so wait. No, okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay let, me, let me just ramble a little bit. Uh... So I don't think we've, yeah, we never met the real Stussy. But the real Stussy was the one that was part of the Rocks Pirates. And this person, the clone here, I don't think that's the case for this one. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm going back and forth, I'm so sorry. I just, I did not expect this. At all. So I, I was spoiled about one thing, but that, that feels now like such a, a little thing compared to everything else going on here. So this is a clone. So you know what? I do think that this, that this Susie 
let's call her Stussy Q, uh, that she was created by Mads. A resemblance of the real Stussy, the rock spirit. And this Stussy has vampire powers, but I don't think the real Stussy did. And the real Stussy may already be dead, actually. Yeah, that's a possibility. I still have no idea why she would be betraying the world government then. Other than because she possibly might have been created by Mads. Uh, that she's basically... She's always been in Vegapunk's side. And it was only until this point that they had to get rid of him that she was basically put in a spot where she had to choose. So she was basically always what? Like a triple agent? This is, this is messing with my head. <laughs> I did not expect this at all. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, wow. Yeah, I really thought that I was gonna be talking the most about Kuma when the chapter ended, but I was like, psych. <laughs> okay, but yeah, the, the Kuma stuff is really important though. I do think that uh, the big uh, paw thingy that was flo flo uh, floating around in that lab room, that that's his soul basically. And maybe if we can put it back into his body, then we can get him, you know, back to how he used to be before um, Marineford. Though I still don't understand um, that little bit of conversation, or just Kuma's response there when he's like, You're saying you want me to produce memories and show you? You want me to embarrass myself? Now, I don't know, like, how serious am I supposed to take that? Like, is this a, a pride thing, or is this just, you know, I don't know, him embarrassed of just Vegapunk seeing his memories, or just everything he's been through? I'm not sure how to take that. Uh, but yeah, we had that basically alternating between Vegapunk telling Bonnie what that is and then akuma tr like uh the marines tr trying to take uh kuma's body which i still don't know why his body went to the red fort but yeah uh that that was chapter 1072 wow that was a lot <laughs> took me it took me uh, more, more than i thought it would to finish this chapter and talk about it uh so yeah okay i'm so glad i don't have to wait for the next one okay let's just jump into 1073 shall we so maybe we can get some answers but not too many you know how old that is oh yes the title of 1073 is miss buckingham's Tuesday. good 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 uh, let's see. Oh, chapter, not the cover. Cover story says, uh, An Emotional Excursion, Volume 29. Uh, winner of the Mobile Peace Prize for GP Flowers That Bloom Out of Gunpowder. Interesting. Not what I expected from these uh, weapons. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gaku! I can't wrap my head around this. And then you see Stussy too, smiling. Paper art, after image. So when you don't understand something, your first move is to kill it? The ambrush, is that much more above Luchi? Oh Luchi, you're such a wildcat. See prism stone. What? Where'd she get the- you know what? Oh, what? Now she's biting his neck, and then Hattori goes, Cuckoo! You dirty! I'm not st stupid enough to fight fair. 
I guess men as powerful as you too. What do you mean not fight fair? She's just using her power. Unless he means yeah the the prison stone, the sea prison stone. Yeah, she uh, another thing yeah, she's pressing it against his neck while she bites him. So I don't know what the bite would do. And he goes down. Wow. I did of all people I did not expect to see to <laughs> take him down. But you'll forgive me, won't you? She says with a heart on the speech bubble. What? Yeah, those are uh, as confused as they should be. I say, what's going on over there? Why is CP0 fighting CP0? Are you in fighting? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. This is Stussy. The other two are asleep now. Ah, wonderful news. Stussy solved that problem for us. Okay, so that she must be the person that they were talking about during 1071? I, I forget the exact words they used, but it was like, if we use that person, like, they would be going against the world government. Uh, York, wake up. So what the heck does this mean? She took Rob of Lucci down? He couldn't have seen that coming. She's been on our side for over two decades of undercover work. Two decades. Over two decades. Okay. So I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm still like, wait, what is her age supposed to be? So if she if she was actually created by Mads, this clone was created by Mads, I would put her at like 24, which was when around when Mads started. You had a spy in the top secret agency? A top secret intelligence agency? Not by the sign, but that's how it ended up. Yeah. Not by the sign. Man, Stussy... Stussy, clone Stussy, has become such a much more interesting character than I ever thought it, she would be. Lucia and I are on the same authority level. I can't override the order to give the Seraphim. There's no way to stop them. You didn't know enough is to see we're on our way now. If we, don't, if we don't stop those kids, they're gonna bring down the building down on top of it. If we don't stop those kids, they're gonna bring down that building on top of our crew. Indeed, but tell me, don't they seem familiar to you? Yes, you should recognize the warlords. As Baron as uh shark about to attack that's exactly what I, would, what I was thinking especially one guy in particular yeah the one on your crew uh damn it they totally ruined the lab though i guess it does make it easier to get out now yes freedom hey seraphim huh oh shit as hulk is targeting lilith and about to shoot a laser on her face or a striker down with the the sword. Oh, sword's coming in though. And actually protected her. Uh, I wouldn't say he protected her, but you know. Now that I get a better look at you, you're actually a little more human than him. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, now that I think about it, this this S hog does look very like. Confused and showing a lot more emotion that we re uh, that we let's just say that Mihawk doesn't really is not very emotive most of the time. So who are you? That gave me such a scare. I'll handle this. Seraphim, stop fighting now. Edison, did he get? Hmm. Do you mean him? That was close. Edison. And the Seraphim has stopped too. What are these things? Someone explain. Oh, it's horror. You're, you're way behind. Brook too, but you know. I place a prison stone on Luchi and Kaku. Shaka. Thank you, Susie. We're going to escape the island. Come with us. Understood. Okay. Uh, you just added more to the total. Yeah, I guess we're taking now. Six, seven, eight people. I never expected 
it's too easy to just come right in the, and chill in the sunny but I guess we're taking her now I mean she's technically come back up on site so sure Bunny, where did you go? Old man punk, we can't leave on the ship without you. But an incident had occurred. Old man! Dr. Vegapunk's Stella was nowhere to be found. Oh shit. That can't be good. But I can't think of a someone that could have taken him. Oh, unless, you know, he went somewhere with Bunny. But I'm not gonna speculate on that one. But it is suspicious. Sphinx New World. Oh, okay. We're just checking up on Sphinx Island? Hometown of Whitebeard the Pirate. Hey, Marco. You should have seen it. I was really scared. Not me. I wasn't as coyote. The Navy m came marching into the, pa eh, into the town and pushed us around. I'm really sorry to hear about that, kids. That must have been quite a fright. It's not your fault, Marco. Those Navy guys were real jerks. They said they were gonna confiscate Whitebeard's treasure. Like a bunch of pirates. Behave yourself and no one has to get hurt. Hmm. That's not good. Yeah, and Marco was worried. The country, this country is unaffiliated with the world government, but a lot of them protect you here. We know White Beer left a vast treasure here. If you don't tell us where it is, that's grounds for execution. If you, if we shoot you one at a time, will that help you remember? Shit, man. Little Marco stepped, stepped out of the island for like what? Two weeks? And this happens. There's no such thing here. Don't point your gun at my brother. So you won't even treat us like human beings unless we pay tribute to the government? That's basically how it goes. You're a pack of monsters. You really want to talk to me like that when Marco is in the run to protect you? Grab her. Ah, stop it. You put me down right now. Grandma! Mm -hmm. Stop it. She's just an old woman. Grandma! Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's evil. Leave my daughter's hometown. Alone. So, he was here. I mean, I should have figured he was gonna be here eventually. With all the coaxing from his mom. Mom. Captain Rattle. Oh, Ed Edward. Ooh, evil. I thought they sent battleships after him when the warlords were disbanded. They did. They just didn't work. We can't get in touch with that entire squadron. They're all down. His strength is just that monstrous. Back to the ship, wait for reinform reinforcements. This is Sphinx. Former warlord Weevil is here. Requesting backup. If that but if big guy didn't show up, the spill she would have been done for. Interesting that we cannot see Marco's face when the kid is telling him that. Then he's a hero. I'm glad everyone's all right. But it doesn't end there, Marco. Who do you think came after that? Hmm. A woman telling you that she was Whitebeard's wife? Hmm, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Admiral Ryukugyu showed up and all our efforts were in vain. So, okay. So, uh, Greenbull was here. Was it before one or after? It must have been before. He took my Weevil away. Get my son back and while you're at it, head on, hand over the state of Whitebeard Newgate. Can they just kick away this old lady, bro? Like, I legit think that if she wasn't ordering uh, Weevil around, that he wouldn't be such a problem. Former rock pir rocks pirate, self-styled scientist. I forgot, yeah, 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 she was in rocks. Matt Freeloader? Miss Bucking Buckingham's 
Josie, this is the original Josie? Yeah, okay, this is... Okay, I think I'm getting... Okay, okay. So... Yeah, we knew that her name was Bucking, but definitely not the rest. That's for sure. So she was... She was technically in math, but not really. I don't think she, she was an actual scientist, basically. But that's how they were able to make a clone out of her. No, it is... I mean, they, they must have done the clone, like, what, like, 24 years ago? At the very latest? No, at the very, like, minimum. But I doubt she looked like the clone looks like now, 24 years ago, unless she aged very rapidly from a certain point. Or they, they just made the clone, um, the clone started as, a, started as a baby and now it's in her 20s, basically. Okay. Weevil! Mama! Sent to prison for protecting his own father's village. My poor sweet brave boy. My son with Newgate. Well, I'm really grateful to him for saving the village. I can tell you that much. You don't believe that Whitebeard and Weevil are really related, do you, Marco? Well, I know just a person who can prove it to you. And that's Dr. Vegapunk. I guess Dr. Vegapunk would know of such a thing. No, but... You know what? Mm, I don't know about that. I think she's still lying. I mean, no, yeah, I, I, I don't believe her one single bit. Ah, uh, Kisaru, here's something to eat with the tea. I trust you had this I trust you had this test for poison first? Of course, sir. I'll take it to him. You may go now. Yes, sir. Marine or World Government Ship. Just out of curiosity, have you ever met Dr. Vegapunk before? Oh, he's with one of the Gorosei. I have. Just once, a long time ago. But I must say that I find this turn of events to be most regrettable. Five elders, highest authority in the world. Saint J. Garcia Saturn. Well, that's quite the name. Have you ever met Dr. Vilpon? Just want to worry about my friends. Okay, so this got us a new Vegapunk. I I have I have nothing. Like that's a way too little information for me to go off of. Uh but I why is Kisaru with one of the Gorosei? Why is he taking him to Egghead? Why did one of the Gorosei want to go into the lesser world? Uh, just for for uh to see the Vegapunks be assassinated. That's very interesting. It has to be something very personal concerning just one of them. Okay, okay, a lot happened these two chapters. <laughs> they have to be some of my favorites in this whole arc. Yeah, um, yeah, this Tusi thing it is pretty, pretty big, that's for sure. Not only that, but like the fact that the old lady going around saying that Weevil is Whitebeard's son, that she is a Tusi number one, that's wild. I never expected that. Well, now that I think about it, I mean, you could say their hairstyles look pretty similar. But that's about it. Now that that makes me like question, you know, how old is this lady? She has to be at least sixty. Um. Yeah. So I think what I'm thinking now is that yeah, the clone. 
when Matt created her, it started off as a baby and now it's a full grown adult after 20 plus years. It didn't start off as, as a mirror image of how Miss Bucking looked like back when she was a Matt's freeloader. For sure. Uh, but yeah, that, 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 that was the whole thing. We're gonna take all the satellites. We're sussy. Um, outside of Egghead. Uh, we stopped surfing. I don't know if we're checking them. That would be a lot. But we're not able to find where other Stella and Bonnie went to. I don't know if we're gonna find them next chapter though. I mean, we have to, right? I mean, it would be weird to get this satellites out, but not live with the one that actually asked Luffy to get him out of there. But yeah, it did, did, this video got a lot longer than I thought it would get. It just these two these two chapters really like pff, mind blew me. Yes. Uh, so I don't know what's gonna happen too with the Marco situation, and we will uh, just being taken in by the world government, by the Marines, because Ryukyu took him in. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah. If you enjoyed my reaction, please like and subscribe. And until next time, see you.